and we're back again. Here we are. Hi. <laughs> Another <laughs> Stairway to Cleveland unsupervised. Man. Look at us. Look, we had to get out of the mothballs again. I'm Larry. <laughs> He's early. Well, I'm no mo. You're a ho. <laughs> anyway, so today's unsupervised. Hi. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Wow. You're dopey. <laughs> anyway. I'm getting grumpy. <laughs> Welcome to Stairway to Cleveland. It's Sweeps Week. Here I am. Here once is, again. Here we're here at your again. favorite place on earth. Here. Same sandbox, different time. <laughs> Liquid Lounge, once again, the home of Mr. Joey D. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for Thanks having for us having down me. here. And for having us. I'm so happy to be here, as always. I have barely a voice, but I'm, I'm here. And I'm, I'm right like, with you. Sam, we're all kind of... I love being part of the show. Stairway to Cleveland is my favorite podcast ever, and it should be yours, too. It's true. He's actually our... On like, four click, cover. subscribe. That's right. That's right. Ring that bell. There you go. Tonight, we're going to talk about our top five... Say it. I'm trying to. Movie soundtracks. Wow. It's tough. It's tough. It's Joey's tough. idea. It's Joey's idea. This... You're a real prick. Was worse than the last one. I what know. did we do last? Why we did top five vocalists. Singers. Singers. Yeah. Yeah. Rocks. Oh, I have so many honorable mentions that we should probably we should probably get started. Yeah, we got to get started <laughs> quick because my honorable mention is like seven. <coughs> Not different yeah. movies. I don't have that many. Well, I have a few. I don't think I've seen that many movies. Yes, you have. Maybe. No <laughs> porn soundtracks. <laughs> Girl, wow. Let's be honest. I already have a couple <laughs> honorable mentions. Now. Maybe a few. All right, let's start it up. Joey, you're our guest. I'm the guest, so I get to go first. Get, what's your number five? Don't do your number one. Yet. My, oh, he's going to bring the record. He's got visual aids. Again. I Here always have go. a visual aid. My number five is, of course, the five. ultimate, fantastic, one of the most legendary five. movie soundtracks ever Honorable made. Legend for me. Um, oh, is five. Prince Purple Rain because if you don't know this album or you don't own this album, you must well. have been living under a rock for the last fifty years. But anyway. I think every person in my age bracket knows that this is probably the only record, one of the only records of this year when it was released that you could put on from start to finish. And you know every word, and it takes you back to every scene in the movie. It was such a crucial and critical album for Prince. It launched the career that he should have had four albums prior to. You got four more to do. Yeah. So but that's how I feel about it. And that's why number five, Prince, Purple Rain. Very good choice. And yeah, I don't know about five, though. <coughs> you guys gonna laugh at me? No, no, I'm not. No, double tested. Do it. What is your number? Five? Mother, mother approved. Uh, Urban Cowboy. Awesome. Is my number five. Excellent soundtrack. And it was a good movie. I thought. I mean, amazing. When I saw, and I'll and I'll be honest, most of my list is from that decade, seventies, a little bit into the eighties on a few of these. But Urban Cowboy was great. I have a question. Yes. How many times in your life have you said shit, sissy? They say we live on pigs. <laughs> well, a bunch. A, besides today, today a lot. Mm. A few. I can quote that at one least one. at least a handful. What but no, it? it had some great songs, and the songs fit perfect with the scenes. So I'm going to use that as my number five. Joe Walsh on it. Any That's any so soundtrack cool. with Joe Walsh on it. Is Bob Skaggs on there? Wasn't that his big thing? That was a great song. Yeah, what, he's good. What do you call a cowboy with shit in his mustache? <laughs> Looking for love in all the wrong oh my. places. Hey, <laughs> looking for love. I'm only here for sweet sweet. <laughs> looking for love. Yes, no. I, my number five is Urban Cowboy. I love. I love great movie. movie. Great soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. It's in my honorable mention. My number five. Here it comes. As well as Dumb One Dumb George. Sade. Number five. The soundtrack to Grease. Awesome. Ooh. Great Great pick. Track great, to pick. great pick. I love that movie as a kid. Uh, Livy Newton John start to finish. Made me feel Tell me about special. it, stud. That's right. Uh, I think great, I mean, great soundtrack. It had everything. It had Sha Na Na on it. It's yeah. fantastic I mean, soundtrack. And it's yeah. a great movie. Yeah. And you just got to see what a man's man Danny Zuko was. And he was Rolt, though, really was a man's man. He was the second. He was the second? He was the second. Yeah, because yeah, Jeff it. Conaway. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff yeah. Conaway yeah. said, I need you to be great. Great Yeah. I think right. everybody knows that movie so well, though. It's, it's so a great, great soundtrack. And the hit single was written by the Bee Gees. That's true. Grease. Sung by Frankie Valli. My number four. 
<clears throat> is a Good movie one. that most mm -hmm. people are very unaware of. This Great is movie. Over the Edge. Uh, Matt Damon's... Matt uh, Dillon. Matt, Matt Dillon. Dillon. Say, you know what? And I'm the last... Did it last time. Movie, because I always say Damon. Matt Dillon's... Uh, it's first movie, right? Correct? If I'm yes. not mistaken, it's his first was film. And I'm just going to let you guys, real quick, without this movie, Cheap Trick catapulted into every kid my age into their life because of this movie. This soundtrack is so good. It has The Cars, Jimi Hendrix, Valerie Carter, Little Feet, Cheap Trick, The Cars again, Van Halen. Cars again. Van Halen, you really again. got me. Is oh, on this soundtrack. So a lot of people don't know this movie. It's great. If you've never seen it, please do yourself a favor. Watch it. It's a great film. I still have yours, by the way. And um, any kid that tells on another kid is a dead kid. It's true. It's true. Key number four. Oh. Number four. Saturday Night Fever. Excellent. Come on. Oh, great. I hate this guy. Well, he, he's hurtful. <laughs> We're going to edit that part out. <laughs> it was supposed to be the it's Bee Gees. It's a great album. It was supposed to be the Bee Gees' next funk album. It was. And then the producer got a hold of it and said, hey, you want to write a couple songs? And they had a couple songs there. Right. They wrote most of it. Yeah. Right. Well, is it a three sides Bee Gees? Bee Gees and the last side's like... Oh, three sides of Bee Gees. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know that album, but I'm going to be sure to pick it up. <laughs> that would be an honorable mention. Um, in my top five. Or not a mention at all. <laughs> my number one is no, no number one. Besides BJ's. Um, so, but this, but this album as a kid. I mean, my parents used to have people over, other couples, and disco parties, and learn dance moves, and I mean, it's just constantly playing in my home. And I loved everything about it. It's the greatest selling soundtrack of all time. It's amazing. I love it. That's my number four. It's my number four. Let's move on. Sunday. Going to what I know and I love, the soundtrack to Tommy. Oh, oh excellent! Uh, very Bravo. excellent. Yeah, I mean the Who. Bravo. Doing what number is this? Four. Wow, I'm shocked, but I know what you're number. I probably know what your number one is. Uh, yeah. So the Who doing new looks on their old album Tommy. I mean, and definitely a '70s album. Are you History. saying the movie or you're saying the Who's version? No, the, the movie version. Or both. Yeah. The movie version. Or both. The look on yeah. the original album. It's a totally different. It's yes. totally 70s up. Harder, rocker, mm -hmm. rockier, I guess that's mm -hmm. the word. Yeah. And then, you know, I mean, just watching the movie and seeing Elton John, Tina Turner. Changed yeah. my life. Yeah, amazing. Eric Clapton. Cool. Uh, One of the best soundtracks ever made. And Margaret. Rolling around in beans and chocolate. And well, sh nobody's mad about that. I sure really wasn't. I, was, no. I think I was like eight list. or nine years old. I was like, hey, I, I never, I never need to see uh, Jack Nicholson sing again. But well, probably not. But no, my, my, my number four. <coughs> Good Lord, have a nice day. Sure. All you have to remember from that movie is it's a boy, Mrs. Walker. It's a boy. It's, it's a boy. Joy uh, Day. I'm on the men, by the way. I am coming in. Number Double three. fisted only because I can because I love to break the rules. So oh, shit. my yeah, number yeah. three is a combination of one and How two. How dare you, sir? Because I know no, it it's pisses two, them it's off. Two movies. Grease no, is phenomenal. And you know what? It's part you're using it's your number part three of the saga. Franchise. I don't care. And Grease legal, 2. Yeah. It, I don't give a shit what anyone says oh, about Grease 2. You should watch it again. Cool it's rider. funny. The songs are actually that? fantastic. Where'd you get Keith that? Martin got me this great copy of Grease 2 at the at the record the day. At, at the yeah, day. the Winchester. And fantastic. Grease 1 and 2 put together. I actually have watched Grease 2 more than Grease 1, but I love them both. I don't care what anyone says. Great soundtrack. Get a copy. My daughters can recite probably every line from the Grease right. movie. Reproduction. That, that play oh, when Grease they were one. little. Yeah. Yeah. We had to watch that movie over and over. We used to act it out in, on the playground <laughs> when I was in elementary school. We used to act it out, and I always got to do Danny. It was kind did of you get that's the, weird. But I wasn't did you get the Saran Wrap? And... Was, well, <laughs> did all your friends go? Well, moving on. Number, number three. three. Oh, I'm sorry. My Axosaurus. Number three. Fast Times at Ridgemont. Oh, great call. Great soundtrack. Uh, Donna Summer's on there. Great. Sammy Hagar, Jackson. one of the best songs ever written. Jackson Bro. Jackson, Jackson Brown. Brown. Yeah. Cars. The Cars. The Go-Go's, obviously. Go-Go's. It was just, it was one of those movies as a kid that 
was something kids shouldn't be watching. We all watched it. Yeah. Pivotal point in puberty. Can't listen. Absolutely, 100%. You can't listen to that card <laughs> song. Pivotal point in puberty. You can't listen to that card song. What's going on when Ever. that came yeah. out? I got a partial just listening to it. Yeah, yeah. On TikTok, no. I hear it all the time because people love to reenact that scene. I'm telling Puty you right gates. now, I got to get on TikTok. I don't want to be any part of it. But I will tell you this. I did love Fast Times Over Excellent. Number great. three. Great That's movie, my, great soundtrack. Great soundtrack. Yeah. My number three. Come on, Saturday. The Crow. Ooh. Soundtrack to The Crow. Interesting. Interesting. Great movie. Amazing it's an Interesting movie. pick. Thanks, man. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I mean, it, it hits a lot of the emo stuff, but it's got Stone Temple Pilots. It's got your favorite, The Cure, on there. It's got uh, Henry Rollins on there. It's got a lot of great stuff on there. I give it the movie was better than the soundtrack. But it was The soundtrack's great, well, though, bro. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not a bad one, and I have a bunch of, nine inch nails. I have a bunch of honorable mentions you're, that are stunning that I had. That you're not wrong yet. The movie probably wasn't as great, but the, but the soundtrack was out. I have that list too. It's a good list. We'll go through it. We'll get through it. Let's okay. keep moving then. Where am I? Number two. number two. Oh, my number two is simple. Everybody knows what my number two is because it's almost the number one. The right. soundtrack to Almost Famous. Is that colored vinyl? And this is I don't know. I haven't played it, but um, Almost Famous is probably one of the greatest movies ever made in history it by Cameron Crowe, and the Stillwater uh, album goes with it. Jay Fed um, goes out to him, but this included just about every single song other, than, song, right? other than Fever Dog by Stillwater. Every single song on here took me back Thank to... Thank you, Chef. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, Chef Yacht. Jeff Yard, Bartender, right. host, extraordinaire tonight. Frosty um, Glass, thank you. This took me back to like every pivotal point in the yeah. 70s. A yeah. lot. Just, amazing just, album. I mean, from Elton John, Tiny Dancer, just stuff. So many cool tunes through, on through there. Through it just was like when I first saw the movie, like how this is the best soundtrack I've ever heard. I have yeah. to own it. And in fact, it came out last it. year and it was awesome that we could finally buy it. Yeah. So that's my number Probably two, favorite. Almost yeah. Famous, and Still Water, Still Kicks Ass. Awesome. Amazing. Uh, hey, FM. Wow. I'm sorry. You had wow. Bodskags, Boston, Steely Dan, who I love. Wow. I know you guys aren't huge fans of Steely Dan, but I love Steely Dan. And that was, at the time, the only time you can get that song was on that soundtrack. They released it on a decade of hits, I think, 84 or whatever. But anyway, Jimmy Buffett's on there. I mean, just, the movie was, the pre- I don't it's, remember the movie. The movie is what WKRP from Cincinnati Okay, came right, from. right, 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 right. So, the movie was cool, and the way they used the songs in the movie, I loved it. Boston's, like I said, Boston's on there, Boss Skaggs, there's so many good songs on that album. I have it. So and I love it. it. Yeah. I, I really, I love it. It's one of my, it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to go two. back and rewatch it. FM. Okay. Yes. Martin Mull. Pick it up. Yep. Yes, I'm sure it's on one streaming service or another. You can buy it. Oh, probably for five bucks somewhere. Anyway, my number two, it was a tough one between one and two for me. Wow. You guys probably won't agree with me. Oh, gee. We never do. Are you going to be wrong? No, never wrong. <coughs> Opinions can't be wrong, Joey. My number two, The Kids Are All Right. The soundtrack, oh, The Kids Are All Right. I, I Once see, again, The Who. see a pattern developing. Uh, but this was The Who at the peak of their... Showing them all the way from the beginning to the peak of their powers right before Keith passed away. And I'm still here. All the... Oh, the other one. If you, if you don't know this, our Scott Vaughn is a huge Who fan. And no. So let him continue on. Yeah, no. I mean, just to see... I have a question about that record. He, but go ahead. About that soundtrack, sir. Let him talk. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, great. <laughs> it's got every great Who song on there. Performed live. And ah, interviews, right. and it's just amazing. You have to see where... Pete originally blew his hearing out when Keith exploded the drums. And you answered my question in your in your description because I was like, "Isn't that just a compilation?" It is, and that's why I thought you guys might give me guff about it. Because I'm not going to give you guff because I know the whole thing is just a lot of live performances, a lot, and a lot of interviews. Nothing was specifically written. Correct. Yeah. Even the kids are right song. Right? Correct. Kids are right. Okay. Yeah. So that's I my need to know. That's awesome. Love it. That's, awesome. that's that, that's where I fell in love with the who was watching. Oh, cool. Great, great pick. Thanks, Paul. 
Yeah, right. that's a great pick, but I know what your number one is now. Oh, well, yeah, do you? So uh, I'm going to go back to what was already mentioned tonight because this is my number hey. one soundtrack of of all time for me. And yeah. I do have quite a few honorable mentions. Well, but yeah, Tommy, so. Tommy the Who is probably the first soundtrack that I, I owned when I was a kid. And my cousins had it. We played it to death and we used to reenact the so movie good. in the living room. And I know so much about it and every artist that was on this album. Changed my life, awesome. so it can only ever be number one for me. Eh? I get it. And I have a lot that are in competition with it, but you go back to what you know most, and mm -hmm. this is my number one. Awesome, Keith. The number one for me is the soundtrack to the animated motion picture Heavy Metal. Wow, oh. it's on my list too. Now, I went in to the theater at age <laughs> eleven. <laughs> I think it was 81 when that one came out. Might be 82. I can't remember. We Fact check that. We don't oh, have a fan check. off Rick here. I have the album. We can look. We'll come back. But two of the best Cheap Trick songs ever, in my opinion, are on that album. Really? You know I'm a Cheap Trick fan. Is Surrender on it? No. That unreleased track's on there. Reach Out. Yes. And I Must Be Dreaming. And Reach Out, you can only get on there. And it was available. On the 45 inside found, of uh, Found All the Parts. Was it? Yes. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Let's not talk about our favorite. But, but anyway, uh, you Sorry, have guys. Queen Bee by Grand Funk, which is amazing. Two amazing song. You have Open Arms by Journey. That was the worst part of the album. Um, oh, I'm coming back. Blue Light. Never mentioned. Blue Light by Stevie Nicks, Stevie which Nicks. is killer. The title track. Only available on that album. Only available on that album. Yep. A different version of the Mob Rules. Everybody knows my uh, Dio Black Sabbath It's connection. the 45 version. Is that single version? It's a little bit different, it's but it's stunning. Mix. It's no. not a disco mix. It's got the 16th. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 30 seconds. Go ahead. Sorry. Speaking of 30 seconds, can I have that? We love you. Okay. Go on. Um, my wife says the same thing. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't say a word. Mrs. Barton. Mrs. Barton, hello to you. Um, but it just... Working in a Coal Mine by Devo. I mean, it's just a great album. And those songs fit so perfect in that movie. Of course, Sammy Hagar's on there. Don Felder's title track, amazing. It's just, it's the soundtrack album. It's creamy. Okay. I love it. I love the movie. Hand over fist. And your knowledge of the songs that are on it is very impressive. Yeah, come on. Awesome. All right. Hey, I love the album. Did some research. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, no. I, uh, yeah, I did research since I was 11. I've been listening to it since. He, you know, and RSV is going to give you his number one. And we all know what it is. Know I know what it is. is. It was Joey's number five. This is my number one. Wow. I thought it was something else, but go ahead. No, I knew it was this. I didn't know that. It's purple Rain right? by Prince. It's on my wall. Wow. It's the purple one. It's the top 12 albums of my whole life. So Your it doesn't sentence. go wrong. I mean... It's a brilliant from, album from the back, and I do love that taint, album. It's, there's not a bad track on there. Um, nice. It's brilliant. Do you want to hold it since it's your number one? I mean, I took the poster out because you're not holding that. That will cut you. I mean, I mean, it's a perfect album. That's an OG. It's a great. It's album. just. It's a phenomenal. I, I, I started phenomenal. Watching, I started watching the movie the other day. Phenomenal. The album's great. <laughs> you get no argument from me. Yeah, no, it's a great movie, amazing. too. You, you get no argument It's from my me. number one. It I is got, I got a uh, stellar I masterpiece. So, oh, yeah. no, I saw it in the theater. Well, what um, did you think my number one was going to be? I thought it was going to be Quadrophenia. See, the, the soundtrack doesn't have enough. I'm shocked. There's a lot of mismatch stuff on there. <coughs> and John Elwes will remix a lot of stuff, which is great. I love it. But great bass. I love the original Quadrophenia. I'm, so. I'm shocked that that wasn't your number one. But great call. Purple Rain's a great album. I mean, it's, again, it's a soundtrack it that is timeless. It it's has so stood good. the test of time. All so. right. It's time to go over some of our... I'm just going to do them so fast. No, I'm going to do mine first. Oh, because I probably have the shortest my, list. Mine's a short list, but go ahead. You probably have right. half of them I'm, that I... I've only got four. You're out of order, though. I'm the host. It was my turn. Right. I host with the most. I also yes. have. I'm not coming out for sweeps weekend. Uh, although, although Joey says it wasn't a record that came out. Rockstar. It was out. It was released. Because even when the movie came out, I do not remember a release for it. I remember getting a copy of it, but I don't actually ever remember a 
physical copy in my hands of it. I had it. And the yeah. fact that I don't own it is maddening, isn't it? It's it preposterous. So let's go through my <laughs> Spell it. <laughs> Spell it. P. Oh. I had Spell Almost it. Famous, P. of course. Excellent. Prosperous. I had uh, Pulp Fiction. The soundtrack mm -hmm. to Pulp Fiction. Good soundtrack. Is a good one. On there. And good. Uh, the Muppet movie. Excellent. And I own it. One of the greatest soundtracks of my childhood. I brought it on. Excellent. So I, I just wrote a couple down. I could have gone on, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go on either. I just have a couple little lists that I want to just All right, stick let's go on them. Let me roll mine real quick. Go ahead, man. The movie from 1987, Dudes, with John Cryer. Great soundtrack. Eh, movie. I haven't it's heard it in forever. No. <laughs> yeah, it was a good I soundtrack. Wildlife. Wow. Another Donut one? City. Holy with shit. Leah Thompson. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Donut City. Does that have... Uh, Hollywood Sweet on that? I don't know that about that. that. But but Donut City was the was a song that Eddie Van Halen performed on there, okay. which turned into Good Enough for the fifty one fifty album. Same oh, riff. Didn't know. That Great did. really cool soundtrack. Uh Trick or Treat, of course, Fast Way. Uh good. Shocker, also a great soundtrack. Good. Good uh, Valley Girl. Jeff Jock loves that one, Shocker. That's a porno, isn't it? And DC Cab. Go ahead. Valley Girl. <laughs> it's a high With mention. all the Plimsoul songs. Very hard. It. it fought for my top five. <laughs> yeah, it's a great one. Pretty, Pretty in Pink was also a great one. And Days and Confused was stellar. Both versions of it. Super movie. Yeah. A great soundtrack. Yeah, and the, and the songs fit in. The, that's how I basically, how the songs fit into the movie when you're watching it. And Days and Confused is really cool. That's how it makes you feel. When yeah. something comes in like that, it's kind of like how Almost Famous was. Every time a song was played, it made you feel a certain way for that yeah. part of the movie. Absolutely. And if the, the producer and writer of the film knew that. put that in there that way for, that reason. for you to feel that way. Exactly. So, and, it, and a lot of the time it worked. My honorable mention list is going to go really fast. And I'm just going to say, <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. Great. Yep. You can't say anything bad. Nope. Hedwig and the An Angry Inch. A lot of people don't know that movie. Superb. Uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Decline of Western Civilization. Heavy Metal's on my list. One that gets overlooked so many times, Rock and Roll High School. Oh, Rock. Very, good. very good. hard not to be in my top five. Uh -huh. Young Guns 2. John Bon Jovi. Excellent soundtrack for the movie. Excellent writing all the way around and a number one song. Streets of Fire. Great. Maybe, good. maybe not the greatest movie ever. Great soundtrack. But These killer are some good soundtrack. Ones, man. I forgot Caddyshack. About Come on, you guys. Foxes. The first time I heard yes. the band Angel was from the movie Foxes with mm -hmm. Jodie Foster. Hairspray, the remake, not the original. The remake, superb singing, a cast of thousands. Mm -hmm. Rock of Ages, which was recent. I don't care. Tom Cruise did a pretty good job singing some of those heavy metal songs. A lot of people don't like it. I liked it. Urban Cowboys on my list. Pink Floyd, The Wall, counts Amazing. as a movie soundtrack. It does. How can we not mention it? Hard Day's Night, The Beatles. Movie soundtrack, Rockstar the Movie, you said. The Greatest Showman, which is newer, great excellent movie. film. Jesus. Excellent film, great Jesus. music. Jackman, right? yeah. How can none of you say The Rose? That no, 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 phenomenal. No, no. Um, great, but I'm a fan. A Star is Born. The original and the remake with Lady Gaga. Footloose. Mm -hmm. Dirty Dancing. Animal great. House. Yep. Pretty in Pink. Yep. And one that really gets overlooked, and you're going to hate me, Scott Bone. Too. Music from the Elder. Even though there was never a movie, oh, all right. there surely was a soundtrack. Right, I don't care. Wait, I'm gonna stick, up a movie. I'm gonna stick up for you because that is a great album. It's a phenomenal album. Empire Records. Empire, Empire Records. Empire Records. Very good. Phenomenal. Very good. Rockstar the movie. Sade mentioned yes. that. Saturday Night Fever. Excellent. Another one that gets overlooked long before Fast Times at Ridgemont High. The Last American Virgin. Which great. was the first Very time good. I heard Open Arms by Journey. Yeah. Walk the Line. Amazing. My I'm last one. God. So my last one on this list is Ten Things I Hate About You, which Great was one. phenomenal. Letters, Letters to Cleo. Cleo. Amazing. Crushed. Out of the yeah. park. Yeah. And you know, there, my favorite I do have a couple lists with great movies I'm with shitty about soundtracks. Ten things I hate about you. Right. About I only that. have five on each one of these. <laughs> great movies with <laughs> shitty soundtracks. <laughs> Kiss Meets the Phantom because you didn't release one. Shitty. Great movie. Shitty soundtrack. Great Amer movie. American <laughs> Pop. Didn't happen. Also very good. And I'm sorry, Scott Vaughn, The Crow did not impress me. The movie was great. The soundtrack sucked my ass. Break, break, 
Breakfast Club. What happened there? Somebody Great. tell me. Great. Why, why, why are you guys yelling so loud? Who knows? Because we're so far away from the St. Elmo's Fire. What Great. happened there? Tracy's favorite movie. Right. Great yeah. movie. Terrible soundtrack. And the movie Fear with Mark Wahlberg. Shitty movies with great soundtracks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Detroit Rock City. Okay. Great soundtrack. Shitty movie. Okay. Under the Cherry Moon. Prince. Graffiti Bridge. Prince. Private School. Look up Rick Springfield. You'll know what I'm talking about. Top Gun 1. And Over the Tap. Sylvester Stallone. And last but not least, Stay Alive. Wow. Wasn't that freaking... That was an earful. You Great movies with Frank, shitty soundtracks. He wrote Frank Stallone. Yeah. Excellent songs, though. There were some good songs. Good on songs. You're right. You're right on that. But, one. I give but you that. Even the only argument I have on your whole list, my <coughs> argument, to your opinion. But the Crow, I guess I was just so against the whole grunge thing. I just didn't want it to happen because I loved the movie so much. It wasn't even grunge. I wouldn't even consider it grunge. It was more. It was so dark. Great movie. It was really dark. The music. I just was. I dismissed the soundtrack altogether. But I'm glad that's on your list dismissed. because the movie is a ten. Yeah, far. And DC Cab for Chef Yak because I know that's one of his favorite movies of all time. So I gotta talk about that. Anything else you want to talk about? Anything no, I mean, you about didn't movies give me with mediocre minutes. soundtracks. You want any, I can keep going. I mean, we only have 30 minutes, but sweet, sweet, I'm here. Not a good supporting actor, but great support. Great. I could. Now we're good. All right. Nice. What else can we talk about? We still got time, dude. We got like eight minutes. How many minutes is that? Time time yeah. Chef Yak. What time do we start this nonsense? Uh, 10 till. About 27 minutes. In. Okay, so we, we got three, three minutes, minutes left. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Why are you mad? Why do we talk about the KISS benefit? Come yes. Talk July about 25th. July 25th. Chef oh, Yacht. we're all doing the shot. Chef Yacht's this is going to be a special episode. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> a very special episode. Somebody can get with us. Uh, yes, July 25th. Once again, we are gathering the troops. We are going to get together and... Have an all-day event at the Yankee Complex down in Geneva on the Lake, oh, where we get good. fifty of Cleveland. Listen to this, Joey. Cleveland's best musicians, top top best. musicians, top or best, both. The top best, the top best musicians, and us. And I'll probably be there, so you know. Where we're gonna get together? We're gonna have an all-day event. We're gonna have cover bands and uh, acoustic act going their day, during the day, and then at seven o'clock we're gonna take over the stage. What time does it start? Starts at noon. Noon. And it's on a Monday. It's a nooner. It's on a Monday. Take July the day 25th, off. Take the day off. You got uh, vacation time left. Listen, so, if you, we know you've already heard about it. You've heard about it how many times now? A lot. A bajillion. How many? How, what year is this? Uh, I don't know. Twenty twenty fifth or sixth. This is the sixth, sixth year. Sixth anniversary. And so I'm giving had, a guitar away, so you got to come. You've had five chances prior to this yeah. to be there, and if you haven't come, yeah, it's your loss. Yeah, you, you're missing out. It's, good. it's a great day. You're going to see 50 of Cleveland's best musicians get together and perform Kiss songs all throughout the night. It's going to be awesome. All the funds we make are going right to Sub-Zero Mission, which great takes care of homeless veterans. Great so come out, support. If you want to do a donation, let us know. We'll take care of that as well. Yeah. Contact uh, us. It's going to be awesome. So please come down. We'll all be there. You should do a huge shout out for the uh, golf outing. Chef Yak will also be there. Cooking Chef Yak will be there, so please come out. So, but a uh, big shout out to everybody that participated in the uh, first, first annual Cleveland Musicians Golf Outing. Outing. The inaugural. Thank you, R. Scott Vaughn and Brando, Brandon Fiorello, for doing all that what hard work. And everybody event. that was involved. It was one of the best days ever. Right. It's so much ever. fun. And we made close to $8,000 just from that. And there you just go. From the golf outing. So that's just, just the start of this summer. So so here's you know. to y'all, y'all. Yeah. Here's to you guys. You're my brothers. Yeah, same to you, man. Appreciate you doing this. And Frank, this, we love you. Sure. Love you, Shaq. Yeah. We love you, brother. For check out, wait, check out Pranzo in Willoughby. Yeah. yeah. You can meet, you can meet Chef Yaw. You can. He's a superhero. Culinary superhero. Call, call in ahead of time. Make a reservation. And yeah, make sure. Some Joey sent you. Well, you could do that too. Or me or Scott. Oh, We've all eaten we the same. I and it has of, been the best meal I've ever had in my I've whole had a lot of sp life. I have a lot of sponsors. Dude. I've eaten a lot of food. Okay. Listen, you can find me on uh, Linktree and uh, the Irish Joey D. So check that out. Um, the Irish, Irish Joey D. Stop Irish in at Scalpers for Irish? Burger Week. Burger Week's at Scalpers this week. So stop in where you make oh. a difference. Get the Beckham. Oh. Best burger ever. And they have Phantom Madness every Monday. That's right. Phantom Madness every, every Monday. Monday. Come up and use your brain for 
for something for something to read the menu to eat and to play trivia for stairway to Cleveland we're having one we're having one we're having one that's Keith yep. that's Scott we're having one and that's Joey and, and I'm that's, Chef Yaki. that's Chef Yaki and I'm sleepy oh my god see you next here we time. go can't Cheers. wait for this one to air <laughs>